That was it from the start. Wasn't it? Yeah, you know, I, I thought the game, you know, uh, the tempo of the game was pretty good for us. We had to make some shots and get Duke to play from behind a little bit, and we were never able to do that. But we had some really, uh, you know, golden opportunities in the first half, and then a couple times in the second half where, you know, we, we had a chance uh, with some of those open shots. And, you know, when it, when it comes down to it, we're capable of making open shots. Um, at, at times when they get up on the glass and we get into rotations or we get behind plays and you have to over help, you're not going to be in good rebound position with that kind of size. And so you really, you know, you worry about things that you can control. And tonight with the free throws and some, and some layups and some wide open shots, those had to go down for us and, and kind of get them um, you know, to, to play from behind and play some catch up. And we were never able to do that. And I think that really hurt us. But uh, I was proud of our guys. I was proud of their effort. And, and I thought they did a great job of taking care of the basketball. There's only seven turnovers in this game. But uh, like you said, you know, the, it really came down to the rebounding. They just had too many cracks at it. Nine, nine and a half minutes ago, two point game. And then right. where did things change? Because Duke obviously seemed to find their stride a little bit. Well, I think things changed um, in, in a lot of areas in terms of they made some big plays, they made some shots. Um, like I said, they had more opportunities, you know, going down the stretch. And then it was their run, and then our, our, our lack of being able to make some shots. And, and then they got us in a position where they played possession basketball um, and really running the shot clock down, and that really hurt us. I know this program's passed moral victories, but when you think about when you guys left the Big Ten tourney to now, how proud are you of this bunch? Uh, you know, I was proud of our guys at that time. You know, we, we were in a fragile position offensively. And um, obviously, the game against Minnesota was a was a tough one. But um, everybody we've beaten since Rob's got injured, another guy has stepped up and scored for us. And uh, when those guys step up and score, we've won games. Um, whether that's Kramer and um, Grant, you know, being in double figures against Siena, whether it's Kramer having 17 against Texas A&M, um, you know, Keaton Grant hitting five threes against Penn State. I could I could keep going on for the win since Rob. But when you don't have that third score. You know, if you can have a third and fourth score, we're in great position because you see the effort and the defensive pressure our guys are able to do against top flight people. That's been a constant for our program. We've got to keep building on that. Um, but but you got to be able to put the ball in the basket. Speaking of effort, the, the Kramer's out there just puking on the bench. He gets mm -hmm. knocked out. I mean, this is this is him. I mean, this is what yeah. he does. How, how much are you going to miss uh, uh, nails like that? Uh, oh, game? You, don't, you don't replace Chris Kramer. You, you just don't. You know, you just don't go out and find another one. Um, you know, just a tough kid, a, a guy that you know gave his heart and soul to this program, and um, you know you, you feel for him because in a game like this, um, you, as a coach, you don't think you would get to this point, but we needed him to score the ball for us a little bit. We needed him to make a couple shots, and uh, you know he's throwing up at timeouts. He's, you know he's getting knocked out, and uh, you know he still keeps coming back. And so you know he, he's a guy that we, you know will really be missing this program. Winning a senior question. class. Uh, something to be proud of. You guys have the, the blocks in place, don't you? Yes, yeah, I think we have a you know a great future with, with Purdue basketball, and obviously you know this class has been great. Winning this class, and you know the next class, um, you know, has got a chance to knock them off also. So I think anytime you can put some classes back to back, and I know Lewis and Ryan um, have had some success in their first two years, you know, with Purdue. But just having that consistency is important, like and, uh, and just you know building off of that, and just continue to strive to want something a little bit better. Go ahead. Like we play on this building again this time next year. Oh, I would love to. Um, you know, we'd love to. You know, be at the you know the final four, and that's our guy's goal. That's one of the things that Keaton said. Right as we stacked it up at the end, you know, you know the final four next year. You know, you just move the goal. Um, you know, to the next year, and you, you feel for those guys because that that was our, our goal is to win the Big Ten and get to the final four. We thought if we could we could do that, uh, we would be in a you know be in a great position. But obviously, it didn't work out. Okay, thank you. Thank you.